Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Which Bobby? What's going on in the life of an Aquarius for the month of March 2019? Hey, boo, hey, first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss, all right? I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, feel free to find a please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can best resonate with you without cussing. Because me, <laughs> the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family, to the returning subscribers. Family, what's popping? What's going on? This has been a hell of a month for, for the kid. Do you understand? Y'all, when I say shit was popping left and right and right and left, and this was me. <sighs> also, I've been sick a bit, so I had to get over that. But for the most part, i just really been dodging bullshit. And for some reason, I strongly feel to share that with my Aquarians. So I feel that some of you all are in the same spirits of the bullshit dodging. <laughs> this is simply a general reading. It's not a personal. If you need a personal, that information can be found below within the description this will be for my sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of aquarius 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 i would like to thank you all for my likes my shares my subscribes you all that means so much to me for the comments i read every single comment you guys thank you so much for all the love and the light that you guys have really 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 shown and been in my world thank you so very much you guys mercury retrograding with my ass um between the cross the cross communications um i've learned not to even make no damn plans because when i make plans <laughs> shit happens and it, it, there, there, no plans have been actually worked on it's kind of interesting i've been working on other things but things that i've planned been fucked up so i said you know what i'm just gonna do it today i actually had an appointment to get my damn hair braided because it looks like whew, under here so i say you know what before I don't do that, before while she's waiting, um, actually on me real quick, just let me go ahead and throw my baby's um video up because I definitely wanted to tune into the sign of Aquarius. Whew. The energy that I feel with you guys currently, it's kind of like for some of you all, I feel that you're taking a lot of like deep breaths during this time. Some of you all may also be um, for some reason I keep seeing a garden, so some of you all could be thinking about gardening. Some of you all could also be in the place of um, a place of reflection. Some of you all are really juggling um, possibly a long term relationship. Um, this could be for some of you all, someone who you have children with. And for some of you all, it's kind of like a blended family. Maybe you have children and the other person has kids as well. So you kind of look at those at your spouse's kids as your kids. But there is a sense of like outgrowing a situation. Some of you all, I'm seeing a tug of war, a tug of war. And this is what I'm seeing currently. I already have to bring you guys your intuitive messages for the month, but this is coming through very strongly. But I feel like this is like a tug of war between realms. Like some of you all could have lost someone or lost a spouse possibly in the last year to four years. And I feel like during this Mercury retrograde, some of your dreams could be very intense where your that particular loved one is communicating with you. But for some of you all, you cannot you cannot gather the words. Um I feel as if this person Whomever this is, I feel like for some of you all, you were with this person for quite some time, but it's like this person is kind of like tugging at your heartstrings during this time in the midst of you healing. Um, I really want you to know that you are going to be okay. I do feel that for some of you all, this is happening through your dreams because you were or had a telepathic connection to this person. And some of you all have the ability to astral travel. So, and I, I don't feel like you, you are really into whoever I'm speaking to into the actual astral traveling, but you do have the ability, maybe you're afraid, but this person is really wanting you to know not to be afraid. They do have information for you that does pertain to um, your current circumstances as well as where your journey is getting ready to go. Some of you all could also be seeing a lot of orbs during this time. Spirit wants you to know that you are protected. Those orbs for some of you all are ancestral, like ancestrally, um, tied so for some of you all who've lost grandparents i'm hearing grandparents children as well as godparents um these people are protecting you during this time as well as bringing you uh divine information as well as divine intervention in some situations where you know you ain't supposed to be and gas end up and shit just gets to hitting the fan 
That is your ancestors protecting you. It's not happening to you before you. All right. So let's get into the intuitive messages that I actually got uh, prior to um, actually dealing. Okay. For Aquarius for the month of March. Yes. Yes, spirit. I receive a pouring abundance. Gemini. Sagittarius. Vision. Awakening. Pisces. Aries. Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, Creator, Self-Worth, Surrender, Forgiveness of Self, Intentions, Karmic Lesson, Returns, Growth, New Love, Rectification, Come on, Spirit, Health, Family Matters, Life cycle. Y'all, I have chills all over. The spirit is all up in this thing, y'all. This is a beautiful month for Aquarius. Assets, liabilities, inheritance, subconscious, heightened awareness, trust yourself, abundance, programming, twin flame, new love. Okay, I think that's all. Come through Aquarius. So there is there's a, a, a there's this spirit of restoration all over you guys this reading. And y'all see I'm real cool and just mellow and just laid back and usually I'd be turned up. But you guys, I feel that Aquarians are in this state of peace. There's a need to really focus on self worth and the assets of the self. The assets of the self, you guys bring the beauty to things. So as you see things falling all apart around you, it's not for you to feel guilty. It's not for you to overextend yourself to jump in the midst of Mother Karma doing her shit. It's for you to answer the call and know your part and know when it's time to get right or get left. Okay? And for some of you all, that has to do with other people. All right? So we're going to jump right into the Archangel message for the month, okay? For Aquarians, you guys got relationship harmony. Archangel Ragiel. But this, this light is ratchet, y'all, but that's all right. We're making it work, okay? We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So your part, Aquarians, is to keep your damn peace. And you have to really speak that, hold that, and mean that shit. In situations where you feel it getting out of hand, you feel like people are pa doing, especially during this retrograde, when people are pushing your buttons, pushing your buttons, and really poking about, declare it. Peace be still. And so be it. And you hold your peace. Accept the fact that you cannot change the, uh, the actions of other people. But you can definitely handle how you, you can definitely control how you handle your actions. You can definitely handle they asses accordingly okay the overall message for this month you guys have the ace of clubs so i definitely feel like you, you guys are on the brink of a new beginning some of you all i'm hearing you, you could feel something massive that is happening something massive that is coming you feel that there is something coming you, you can't quite put your hand on it but you feel as if something big is about to happen that is going to excel you into greater heights and you are absolutely right okay but there's a process it's levels to this shit it's kind of like going up a staircase all right so what's happening spirit is wanting you to know that a lot of you all will be in this place of harmony okay for some of you all it's actually restoring situations starting from scratch and actually attending to this and uh, attending to your harvest what seeds have you sown? What seeds have been sown unto you in order for you to find that harmony either within a relationship or within yourself? It's a time of reflection and reflection and gratitude of the places where you've been and where you are today so that you can truly, truly, truly see and believe in where you want to go going forward. But that harmony that you're looking for within relationships, it starts within yourself and truly being at one with your authentic self, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful. The pieces of you, the aspects of you. Y'all, y'all not going to make me cry, okay? Because I feel it. I feel the rising of the divine feminine energy. And it's that of creation. It's that of 
<laughs> compassion. It's that of understanding. It's not looking at situations and people anymore and judging them and saying, oh, you did that to me. But it's you did that for me because if it wasn't for your bullshit, I wouldn't have found myself that piece of me that I did not want to see. And for some of you all, it's actually embracing those emotions during this. Y'all, y'all gonna make me cry. New family, y'all, y'all know I'm a realist. And as I allow myself to be the channel of spirit, I embrace my inner goddess because it's okay to not be strong all the time. A lot of you Aquarians are so strong. Y'all are so strong. And I feel the energy of so many of you. And this energy that I feel of wanting to cry is because I feel like this is how you feel. Spirit is saying, let it go, baby. Let it go. Stop looking for other people to be your hero during this time and know that you have already saved yourself and choosing yourself. A lot of you all are holding on to your emotions. You have this all knowing. During this time, some of you all are really, really, really needing to um, speak your truths. All of them, whether they pertain to the spirit, whether they pertain to your own beliefs. Some of you all are going to be in a place where you reassessing your beliefs. Some of you all may have grown up Christian, but now you want to move towards, uh, now you just want to move towards being a spiritualist. You don't want to have any type of attachment to any religion because you accept the fact and you're understanding. Some of you all are kind of seeing that a lot of religions, anything that, 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 that re requires me to be bonded into a belief, and into a belief that will only bring me a perception of fear, fear or judgment of myself. I don't want no parts of it. And some of you all are in that place. Some of you guys know what you need to do. But you have, you're holding on to these emotions. And spirit is saying, you hold the power in your hands. Some of you all really need to embrace your inner goddess and let her free. Your inner God, let him free his truth, his fulfillment, his wholeness, his light, his power does not belong to someone else. But that of self, that of whole self, it's not about people seeing this beauty that you have to bring to the world. Your your fertility, your divine beauty, it's about you seeing that and not needing any validation from another person to truly, truly, truly want to or, 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 or need to see that for you to feel whole. It's about you understanding that you are the creator. You are the God. You are the goddess. And can't nobody take that from you. I don't give a fuck who comes, who goes. My inner God shall not be shaken, moved, broken, or battered. Because I understand the lessons around reasons, seasons. And that some situations are just used as catalysts to move me forward. But in moving forward, there is nowhere to go, baby, but up. This is a time of receiving blessings. Some of you all there is spirit is trying to bring and open up your mind, your spirit, your heart to be receptive to a relationship coming forward. that may actually begin to not really blossom until the month of April, to be honest, for some of you all. But you need to forgive. And spirit is trying to bestow many blessings upon you. Some of y'all may be seeing a lot of butterflies during this time, which signifies rebirths. Big opportunities, massive changes and shifts that are happening within consciousness, within self, within the love of self, within the heart itself, with opening up and receiving and understanding that it's been in many, many, many places, but it has no idea for what is yet to come, baby. Spirit trying to give you new eyes to see you, to see that you are expansion. You are evolution. You are walking in the light of greater abundance, but you just have to open up your arms to receive it. And just know that it's coming. 
Because I, I truly hate to hear people say, seeing is believing. Only Aquarian will understand when I say no, believing is seeing. Because the belief itself actually is the seed of intention that you plant within the self to, to set the belief in the self. So that you create a target. And a vision. And when you have that vision, do you take off running as if tomorrow you wouldn't even have any fucking legs to go? And you ain't going to stop. There is no looking back. There's only appreciation for where you've been because if you had not lived that where you've been, you wouldn't know how to maneuver and cut corners going forward. You wouldn't know how to recognize a snake when you see a snake to know that even if you had that snake since it was a baby, you raised that snake at the end of the day, it's still a snake. And someday, that motherfucker will bite you. And for some of you all, you've been bitten so many times. And Spirit is saying, let go. Let go. What's happening now, it's a balancing. It's a balancing and an agreement between the mind and the heart to move in synchronicity, to move in synchronicity, in agreement. To understand that the only motherfucker that's going to save you because you are spiritually protected is God and you. And for some of you all, it's a focus. It's a focus on grounding and it's a focus on actually recentering that solar plexus. So that you can know, so that you can kind of trust within the self. It comes that I do, I feel, I that knowing comes from within the self. For some of you all, some of y'all got a massive download coming the third week of March. But I do feel it's going to give you a greater understanding for the things that has not been clarified for you in spirit. Some of y'all dreams are going to be popping. But it's going to allow you to look at life. Look at your reality that can be recreated whenever you whenever you open up to receive and whenever you actually trust yourself enough to move. But with how you look at the self, I'm an asset, so I will not allow any liabilities, people, places, things to come into my world and shatter that. I've done so much work on the self that I'm spiritually rich, and I know that in this place of being spiritually rich, it's about embracing my shadow self as well as my light self and making a choice making a choice for me as well as the influence that I have on others lives <laughs> to move accordingly in the, and abundantly forward with the knowing of why I had to go through those things why I had to go through or experience that heartbreak. For some of you all, you're actually understanding and in reflection mode, actually tying, tying in um, ancestral patterns I'm seeing having to do with your mother's side or something having to do with your mother. And you're recreating a new timeline to that story. And that baby is a part of your soul contract. So when you question yourself, feeling as if you're doing something wrong, well, you're crazy. You know, spirit wants you to know that you're on the right track. I hate when people say, well, your shadow, they speak about your shadow side as if it is wrong or your light side is better. Even God itself is a powerful entity of a mixture and a balance of both. So it's about balancing that. Some of you all, you may have had an attachment to money, okay? That could have had to do with your shadow side. And maybe you chose relationships and people who only had money. And of course, I, I, I've lived that path. It's a price to pay with that. But it's not saying that was a bad aspect of yourself. It's just saying, how can you find the balance? And what did you learn with that? Because you definitely learned a level of self-respect, self-worth. Through someone who didn't give you that for some of you all. You definitely learned your truth. What relationships was or wasn't based on your own perception and how you was raised. 
but you found you in the midst of that. So there is no wrong or no right. And even if you go forward and you say, okay, I want a man that's successful, it's understanding that nothing, nobody comes in this perfect package. Everybody going to have some shit that you got to work with, even yourself. But understand that every situation is not the same. And always, always, always take what you will never forget, Aquarians. That just as if people come into your life as karma, why don't you think that you are picked, I'd say, by spirit to be karma in someone else's? Even if it's through ancestral recognition, it's a time of reflection, acceptance, gratitude. All right? So that's what I have for you with the spirit messages. All right. Yes, baby. Y'all had me a little, little tearing and stuff. A little teary. A little teary eye. Y'all know I'm sensitive. I got Pisces in here. <laughs> All right, spirit. So what messages do you have for my beautiful Aquarians for the month of March? In love. I had already shuffled the cards, you guys. So Let's see you have my beautiful friends. We love. Come on now, somebody. All right. So for some of you all, okay, some of you all are having to make a decision, okay? This could have to do with a new love partner or a new love interest for the month of March. And for some of you all, it has to do with starting over or restoring a relationship with someone possibly who you have children with, okay? You could be the mother. This could be the mother or father of your children. But I definitely feel it's someone who's abundant. Some of you all could have, could possibly have new love surrounding work, all right? And I feel like you don't really want to mix that. You're kind of standing in your own way because you don't want to mix business with pleasure. But change is good. And for some of you all, I feel that you're holding on to, to possibly a relationship that did not work with someone who you have children with and you kind of being your own being in your own way with preventing new love because spirit is saying if you close that door Aquarius I got something better for you. I promise just oh just peek open up open up you know and for some of you all you just like no I'm 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 scared. I don't want to walk down that road anymore. It didn't feel good last time. It hurt. You know and spirit is saying let it go. Let it go and trust for some of you all who are dealing with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I feel that some of y'all who have a child with this person, that's who I feel that there could be some type of restoration with. Some of you all are reconciling possibly with the Pisces, a Libra, Taurus, Aries, Virgo. Yeah. And for some of you, there's a transformation happening with that relationship. Some of y'all could also be... Um, Finding out that you're pregnant, possibly by Scorpio. Congratulations, Mocha love the kids. But I am feeling a, a level of there being two, okay? Two partners or two decisions that needed to be made. For some of you all, it's actually choosing to focus on your money or just focus on continuing in the search or, you know, the flow of love. Do I want new love or do I want to actually build that security within the self for myself to know that I can be independent? Because for some of you all, it's actually conquering that that feeling of needing another person. And I commend you with that because for those of you who are, that this pertains to money with, with having to make a decision with two um, opportunities, some of you all are kind of battling between do I keep my nine to five or do I actually start my own business endeavor? And I'm hearing both. OK, spirit is saying both. I feel like you have to find that balance. All right. Around family as well as balance within investing in the self. This is definitely a time to be expansive and invest in the self. For some of you all, some of y'all intuitively know that you're dealing with a fire sign that possibly has that possibly is offering you love. But I feel like this person may. And for some of y'all, you can be fair. Some of y'all are very intuitive. Some of y'all are actually psychics yourself. But some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign who really think that they slick. This person could also be going through and awakening themselves. And I feel like spirit is trying to move them away from their juggling ways. So I feel like they keep running into um, you and other people. Just just different aspects and different pieces of you that's trying to tell this person to get their shit together. So I definitely feel like it's it's causing them to open the door of love to you and actually be expressive to you about how they feel. But at the same time, they have to choose between you or their ego straight like that. OK, for those of you who are dealing with the Scorpio, I feel like some of y'all have new love coming in with the Scorpion as well. 
Some of y'all could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like intuitively, you know, that this person has a decision to make between you and possibly the mother of their children. Um, I feel like for now, I do see this person is still in the energy of kind of juggling. Do they want to focus on bringing the balance in between your relationship or do they want to kind of keep their options open? Because some of y'all dealing with a water sign who just really like grass, baby. They, they really think the grass green on the other side. For most of you all, I feel like the focus is on commitment. For those of you who are dealing with the sign of Taurus, I feel like this Taurus is wanting to take things to um, another level with you. All right. I definitely feel like they're wanting to build a family, build a structure. For some of you all, you could actually be moving into that sector of a relationship, especially if you've been dealing with someone for the last seven years. I'm also seeing two years. I'm also seeing um, eight for some of you, and I'm also seeing six for some of you all five as well some of you all um going towards tourist season y'all got a, a major surprise especially if you're dealing with an earth sign capricorn towards virgo i feel like this person you and this person yeah there's going to be a movement forward a movement forward higher levels of commitment for those of you uh some y'all could also be moving away from a fire sign aries leo sagittarius strong emphasis on the aries for some of you all, it could also be a Leo with this damn King of Wands and the Aries here. I feel like for some of you all, there is a lot of passion with the connection with someone. Okay, and again, this could be the mother or father of your child. Some of you all are need, really needing to stand your ground and allow, and for some of you all, for this person to truly go through some type of a transformation, I'm hearing family matters with this, okay? So for those of you who have a family with someone who's not knowing whether to keep the connection or move away from it, I feel like spirit is really trying to push you towards, it's like there's some type of divine intervention. There is going to be progression with this love, but you have to completely kind of detach yourself from the situation or the outcome in order for spirit to truly, truly, truly move in your favor. Because I definitely feel like someone has been trying to control the situation and I feel like someone has, there's that, that's that little push and pull aspect I see because I'm seeing that rope again. I feel like one party really wants the relationship or both parties want the relationship, but one person really wants to kind of control how it goes so they can still have the door open to do what the hell they want to do, even though their decisions, I mean, even though their options are kind of narrowing down, like somebody really like grass, but spirit is trying to get their ass a slabbed out ass driveway, like no. All concrete over here. We don't even do grass this way. So you have to get your shit together. And for some of you all, this could definitely be someone who have uh, fixed energies within their chart. But there is some type of new love or restoration in a family situation. I just definitely feel like someone has to detach from trying to control how the relationship goes. Some of y'all are dealing with a Leo and I feel like either you or this other person feels as if they're really kind of tired of putting the effort into the relationship because someone is focused on the love and someone is only focused on material things and finances. And I feel like for some of you all, there's someone new coming in that particular union who could also be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or could be a water sign. And I feel like this person is wanting to give you that love. And I feel like you really needed to make a decision on if you're going to choose what you truly want, fulfillment, or if you're going to continue self-sacrificing to keep a relationship together where there is no progress okay no matter what the sign is i am seeing leo aries attached to that scorpio attached to that um for some of you all it could also be taurus attached to that but for those of you who are dealing with the sign of taurus i definitely see that this person wants commitment this person wants family um th there could be an issue with like distance somebody living far and having to travel but i feel like again that comes with boundaries that comes with open discussions and stop trying to keep the damn peace to keep the bullshit down no, sometimes you need a little uproar and a little action in your damn life to get shit moving. Take it from Aries. I shake shit up, okay? But I do see this is connected to some type of past life, okay? Some type of past life connection for some of you all. This could also be um, a twin flame connection. Someone having to make a move or someone could also be leaving the mother and father of their child to move towards you. And I feel like this person is not ready and you just like, ooh. Ooh, just kind of caught off guard like oh wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute mother. i wasn't quite ready ready i was a little ready but just not ready ready but i definitely feel like during gemini season a lot of you all will be actually coming together and have a lot of um for, like a lot of abundance around love 
I just feel like during this time, you're really needing to make a decision on which way you want to go and allow things to happen naturally and not try to control them. Focus on, um, yeah, creative endeavors. Focus on your finances. Focus on building your stability. Some of y'all got a new beginning in love happening with a Pisces, but it's not going to happen until you successfully cut someone off and stop kind of keeping that door open. Some of y'all closed the door but left the damn window open, and I feel like you really needed to completely end the cycle in order for you to move forward. And for those of you who have been wanting to open this business and go, wanting to know if you're going to be abundant in some type of business endeavor, Spirit is saying go forward. You're going to be successful. This Ace of Pentacles. Some of you all also may be receiving um promotions during this time as well as have another door opening when it comes to moving towards another job. But I definitely feel this month in love is going to be about you making judgments, you making judgment calls, and you ultimately standing your ground. Okay? Pull your damn sword out, Queen of Swords. It's time to get to business. And love and work matters. Motherfuckers gonna get right or they ass gotta get left. Period. We're not moving into the new year with that bullshit. And it's about you speaking that truth, knowing that truth, living that truth, and knowing that shit. All right? So this is what I have for you guys in love for the month of March. If you need a personal reading, please hit me up. I'm trying to get everybody else up uh, between today and tomorrow so that I can actually do a spring break sale. And I ain't going to tell y'all what it is. I'm going to surprise everybody because I may do a bunch of shit in one time. You know, I'm Aries. We be juggling shit. So I love you all. If you need that personal, hit me up. And until next month, love you guys. Bye, y'all.